welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe Lincoln. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi everyone. In today's video, we will be making some sweet and sour chicken. Now here are the ingredients you will need to put this recipe together. I will be using some cornstarch, garlic salt, black pepper, paprika, I have some red onion, scallions, pineapple, I have some red bell pepper and some green bell pepper. Here I have some ketchup, I have some hoisin sauce, some sweet soy sauce and I also have some oyster sauce. I have some flour here, grated ginger, garlic, I have some baking powder, brown sugar, some white vinegar, and I have some spicy sesame oil. And here I have my chicken that is already washed and cut up. Um, we're going to head into the next step now. And I will also be using some water. So the next step is we're going to add in our garlic salt black pepper and paprika into the chicken and we want to mix this in and you can use any part of the chicken that you like you can use the leg you can use the thigh you can use the breast you just have to remove the bone and this recipe you can use any part that you like now that this is all mixed we're gonna leave it on the side to rest and we will move on to the next step. So our next step is making our sauce and we're gonna add in our ketchup. We're gonna add in our hoisin sauce and here's my sweet soy sauce and my oyster sauce. I am also going to add in my white vinegar, my brown sugar so we're just gonna mix this to make sure that they are combined. So now that we finish with our sauce, we'll just place this on the side. But just before you do that, you wanna taste it to make sure that you have the right amount of sweetness and you have the right amount of sourness. Now, if you would like for this to be a little bit more sour, all you need to do is add a little bit more vinegar. And if you want it to be a little bit sweeter, you can add some more of the brown sugar or you can also add in some more of your sweet soy sauce. Now for my sweet soy sauce, this is a brand I like to use. I just want you to know that this is the one I'm using. And this, I've been using this for a very long time and I find it to be a very, very good product. So you can um, try this if you have never tried it before. I recommend you try this one. Now I'm going to put this on the side because I, I've already tried my um, sauce and this is the sweetness and the sourness I like. So just in case the measurement I give you in the description box is not enough for you with the sweetness and the sourness, those are the three ingredients you can use to adjust the sweetness and the sourness. Now we will place this on the side and I will move on to the next step. So in the next step, we will be making a batter for our chicken. Now I'm using some flour and I'm also going to add in my cornstarch and I'm going to add in some baking powder. With the baking powder combined with the flour, it's gonna give you a nice crispy um, coating on the chicken. Now I'm going to mix this until it's well combined and I'm going to add in some water. You're going to add in a little bit at a time. You don't want your batter to get too thin or you don't want it to be too thick. So guys, here's the consistency I like. It's not too thin nor it's too thick. Now we're going to put this on the side and you will need to grab yourself a large mixing bowl. So now that I have my large mixing bowl, I'm going to transfer my chicken over here and I am going to go in with my hands. Now I'm going to add in my batter to the chicken and I'm not using all of it. I'm just going to, if I need some more, I'll add it later on. But for now, I'm just going to use that amount.
so the reason I didn't make my batter much more thinner than this is because I don't want when I add my batter to my chicken then it gets liquidy and all the seasoning and the batter set in the bottom of the bowl and then you don't get that beautiful coating of seasoning on your chicken now we're gonna just leave this on the side and we're gonna head over to the stove and heat up some oil now i'm gonna turn my stove on to medium high heat and i have a bowl with some bounty and i'm also going to use a hand strainer so now that my oil is hot i will be adding in a few pieces of my chicken to fry Now we're just going to allow these to fry until they have a nice light golden brown color and it's nice and crispy on the outside. They're at a nice color that I like and I'm going to take them out now. They've been frying for about 7 minutes or so. Now depends on the um, size of the chicken, the size you cut them in. You will need to fry them a little bit more or a little bit less, I'm not sure. But I have some really nice bite size here. Now I'm going to fry the rest and I will show you when I'm done and I'm ready for the next step. So guys, this is the last set of my chicken. I am gonna get ready to put this recipe together now. So my stove is on medium heat and I'm going to add in some oil. You're gonna use about quarter cup or so. And to that, I will add in about half a teaspoon of um, my sesame oil. I'm just gonna give it a little stir and I'm going to add in my garlic and I'm going to allow it to fry a little bit in the oil. I just want that to infuse a little bit in the oil. Now when you start smelling that garlic, you're going to add in your ginger. to add in our bell peppers and we're also going to add in our onion we're going to turn this up a bit and just try to separate the onions a little bit when you're doing this and after about a minute or so I'll add in my pineapple chunks now after this all comes together, we'll just put it on the side here. We're just going to pour these to the side. And we're going to add in our sauce. And 
we're just gonna mix. We just want our sauce to come up to a simmer. And now we're gonna mix it all together. Now after it come up to a boil, you're gonna add in. You don't want the sauce to dry out too much. So we're going to add in our chicken. And here I have my scallions. Now what I'm going to do is turn my stove off and I'm just going to mix this in now. This is all done. I'm just going to mix it to make sure that the chicken is well coated with the sauce. And that's it guys all you have to do now is allow this to cool down before you serve it and you're all set here